It's the batch. And we are once again Gus free. Gus uh, light. Gusless. Gusless. There you go. We have so uh, roll us. Does that yeah. mean there's only one or two of there's only one of them? Uh, I think that means there's only here. the spirit of Gus is still with us. Okay. So there's only one this time. Gotcha. Uh, so today we're joined by Ashley and Bernie and Ryan and Ryan and the spirit of Gus <laughs> and the spirit of Gus. As always, <laughs> Gus he, is with us always. In he spirit. waffed. Well, now you just uh, pay sixty dollars for it. That's right? right. That's actually some of the latest news. They so uh, in on the back. I don't know where I was going with that sentence. Anyway, so <laughs> World of Warcraft, you know, with the new expansion, they're offering power leveling up to the max level. Right. Well, now someone just saw briefly up here in the store the option to power level another character. Like, you could just buy it, and instead of just buying the expansion, you could just power level that character. You just buy a full now, level Now, explain character. to me what power leveling is, as though uh, I was somebody who didn't know, which I clearly uh, do. It would be as if you just didn't bother to play <laughs> any just, of it. This is just a test to make Superman. sure that you know. <laughs> So you're just buying levels. Yeah, you're just jumping to the end level. Content, okay. Which, uh, and I, I think the brief explanation I saw, and it didn't stay up long, I think it's been pulled down, was that uh, they didn't want to have to try and explain to other people why you would need to buy a second expansion. Uh -huh. to up, Like if you had two characters. Uh, so they were just offering it, I think it was like 60 bucks too. It was not cheap. See if, you know, I mean, obviously World of Warcraft, they know what they're doing. They've had a very successful game for a long period of time. A lot of people are trying to emulate the success that they've had. But I, I would, as a player, I would want something where maybe you could have an item that is a multiplier. That's the thing that I always get if I'm ever given a power up, like in say like Borderlands or even like the Lego games. Especially where, the Lego games. Especially the Lego games <laughs> where you get the multiplier for the studs. I always invest in the XP or the money multiplier because like the sooner that you get that the better off you are uh, jumping back a bit here candy crush all right candy crush so they Thanks, gave up side tracker they hey, lost hey. Listen, well, they, they didn't free lose. flow conversation well they didn't lose they were awarded the trademark and then decided Blue to plus. abandon it because they decided it would be too hard to enforce as a trademark and they'd much rather just buy an older game and enforce on that instead which they did they did candy crusher yeah successful which is what led to the guy's sob story uh from the last patch that we talked yeah, about. Yeah, the guy from uh, was Candy Swipe? Was Candy's, that it? Yeah, yeah. sounds right. Yeah. It's great that we, like, we all felt so bad for this guy. Yeah. Now we're struggling Don't to remember, remember his who, product, but who he is. Yeah, that sucks. Still too. feel bad for the guy, though. Well, here's what it, I think is weird. So that original game, was Candy Crusher a match three? Because uh, if, it was a, sure. if it was a match three game, so. there's, I mean, that, that predates Candy Crush <laughs> by so many years. Why would that guy sell to them instead of saying, you copied my game and the name of my game, and just take them for everything they've got. I mean, unfortunately, Why would they do that? it's that it's easier to type. take money. Well, that's if they show true. up with cash, it's easier to take the money. Yeah, yeah, Candy Crush had the the name recognition at that point. No one had ever heard of Candy Crusher. Doesn't mean it couldn't have won Someone in a court has, of sure. law. True, but yeah, at the same law. time, that's an uphill battle against a company that's already making lots of money. So they've got all the lawyers at this point, which is why everybody was mad at them. They're shoving everybody out of the way. Well, talking about uh, legal troubles, so you want to talk about uh, Duke Nukem? Yeah. Do you have yeah. that quote? So we, this, goes back, this goes actually back to the, what we were saying a couple minutes ago about buying a, an IP that's older and then like who owns the rights to it. How many times did you sell the rights to one game? Well, uh, if you're 3D Realms, apparently as many times as possible. Which, news item number one, 3D Realms still exists. Who knew? I thought they went under like 12 times. Right? I had no idea they were still around. Well, apparently they're still around and still making Duke Nukem games, which they no we're longer have the rights to. to. It makes no sense. <laughs> that makes no sense to me. Bizarre. It's, it's a company that has been completely incapable of shipping a Duke Nukem game for decades, and yet they're still trying even though they don't own it. The top story, April 3rd, <laughs> 2013 on 3DRealms.com is Duke Nukem 2 now available on iOS. Oh my God. <laughs> so there we go. So, yeah, I mean, uh, so Gearbox so is obviously suing them. Well, so they've been so, teasing a new game. Right. Uh, a new Duke Nukem game. A new Duke Nukem game. Um, they, they, bought a, they put up a teaser site that's, I want to say it was like alloutofgum.com, something like that, teasing an upcoming Duke Nukem game. But the, here's the catch. They sold the rights to Duke Nukem to Gearbox, like, and this is the rights for all future use of the property, the characters, everything. They sold that to Gearbox in 2010. They've already been to court over this once. We've got the teaser on the screen right now, the alloutofgum.com, which did go down briefly when they were uh, you first hit with this litigation. It's just like, how, like, what does it take for it to stick with your company that you sold the game, like, you sold the rights, you don't have them anymore? Does going to court over rights once not do it? 
And you know, it's not it's not a decision that happens by accident. When you sell the rights to something, you know that you've done it. It's like a major decision there's, in the company. There's <laughs> some paperwork involved. Right. Yeah. It's it's a big distinction. And so it, they sold the rights to Gearbox. Gearbox makes D- Duke Nukem 3D. What Duke Nukem Forever? Forever? Yeah. Listen. Finally this, put it out, and they is, had some choice words eh. to say about the assets they got. And they they've been. Yes, uh, they did. You got to read some of these. Uh, Legal letters they've been sending back and forth to each oh, other because they're, they're so, so funny. funny. Yeah, like the quote yeah. I've got right here is the mountain of problems subsequently uncovered by Gearbox cannot be captured in this single pleading. Yeah, like they were taking wow. shots what? at their <laughs> horrible coding and everything else. What was it called? They called it like an impenetrable jigsaw puzzle, uh, a technological, a technical- jigsaw, a technological puzzle. jigsaw puzzle of a video game. They're talking about the Sorely garbage deficient. that they the Gearbox is saying that what they received from 3D mm-hmm. Realms was so bad that I mean, there's no reason even really to say that. That like they had to rework everything anyway. There couldn't be any technology left that 3D Realms gave them that they could be using. Like there's. They're basically saying there's no argument legally they can make to claim that they, mm. they have the rights to still make this game. And there was already a suit here, too. Three, so Gearbox strange. already sued 3D Realms about uh, not paying up, I think, properly for the royalties and yeah. such of the property. And then at the end of that, they lost and 3D Realms apologized. And then Openly. they published the apology letter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gearbox posted the apology letter. <laughs> That's nice. That's a good business move. Have a good evening. Bye, everybody. Or morning. Or afternoon. You know, wherever you are.